Today I'm going to show you how to get the new microchip Hello FPGA board up and running quickly and easily. The kit consists of an LCD screen, the Hello FPGA board and a camera sensor board. The Hello FPGA board is based on the Smart Fusion 2 FPGA with its ARM Cortex M3 processor. The board includes the PIC32 microcontroller that is used to program the Smart Fusion 2 system on chip FPGA, monitor power, and general purpose functions. The kit also includes an Arduino interface for more prototyping capabilities. The Hello FPGA kit is designed for FPGA beginners and is ideal for developing control logic and data acquisition, image processing, signal processing, and artificial intelligence applications. Some software demos are provided by Microchip to get you started. Digital signal processing with FIR filtering and FFT on various waveforms, FPGA core power measurement application, image processing, and real-time handwritten digit recognition. So let's start by unboxing the Hello FPGA kit. The kit comes with the LCD screen and camera board assembled to the Hello FPGA main board. A USB 2.0A to Mini B cable is also included with the kit, which I'll now use to connect the board to a PC. The first thing we'll need to do is to install the Hello FPGA GUI application. Navigate to microsemi.com and search for Hello FPGA. Click on the M2S Hello FPGA kit link. Once the page is loaded, click on the resources tab and then click and download the Hello FPGA GUI application which can be found under the Design Files heading. You will need to create an account to be able to download the file. Navigate to the downloaded zip file and extract it. Open the installer folder and run the setup executable. Install the software and click Next when prompted. Finally, you'll need to click on Restart to restart your computer and complete the installation. Now that the installation is complete, double click the Hello FPGA desktop shortcut icon to run the Hello FPGA GUI application. In the top right corner, select the appropriate COM port that the board is connected to and click on the connect button. In the log output, you should see the message COM connected. Let's flash the board with the first demo. Click on the browse button to view the three available demos. Select the first one, the digital signal processing demo, Select Program from the Action drop-down menu and then click Run. After the flash process is complete, restart the board. This is done by unplugging the board from your PC, reconnecting it and then use the same steps as before to connect the board to the GUI app. Navigate to the FPGA Demo tab and under the Input Parameters tab insert your desired filter. For this demo, let's use a Blackman windowed low-pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 20 MHz. Click on Generate Filter, under the Input Signal Generation window, enter the input frequencies and click Generate Signal. Click Start to send the input signal and filter coefficients to the Smart Fusion 2 FPGA. You'll be redirected to the Filter Output tab where the filtered signal output can be observed. If you click on Auto Sweep, the GUI will automatically sweep one of the input signal frequencies through a range of values and then send it to the FPGA for filter operation. The filtered output is then displayed on the right. Go back to the FPGA Programmer tab and flash the FPGA with the Digit Recognition Demo. This demo uses parallel processing to do real-time handwritten digit recognition. Point the camera so that it aligns the green box showing on the Hello FPGA LCD with the green box on the GUI application. The recognized digit is then displayed on the LCD in the bottom left hand corner. This model is only trained on the digit set provided in the GUI app. We can also measure the power in both active and low power modes. To do this, navigate to the Power Graph tab in the GUI application. By clicking the flash freeze entry, 
The FPGA moves between active mode and low power mode, with the resulting power consumption shown in the graph. The Microchip Hello FPGA Kit is an ideal kit for end users with low to medium knowledge of FPGAs. These demos are a great way to get you up and running quickly and easily, and they can be used as a starting point for developing your own FPGA applications. For more information, visit mauser.com.